I'm Julie Bartke with this Senate update. $842 million providing nearly 24,000 jobs. These are just two of the headlines surrounding Governor Mark Dayton's bonding proposal, which he unveiled on Tuesday. Among the projects selected, $48 million for the Lewis and Clark water system. This has been in several bonding bills over the past few years. $64.6 million for highway rail grade separations in four different cities. $140 million in asset preservation to the higher ed campuses and $50 million to subsidize housing. The bill also includes $20 million to complete the state capital restoration project, $34 million to provide a new visitor center at Fort Snelling, $61 million to improve the state's jails and prisons, and $24 million to upgrade waste processing facilities statewide. Now we caught up with Senate bonding leaders to get their thoughts on this proposal and also what they would support in 2015. At first blush, what do you think of this number? Well, that number came out before when the governor talked about his uh, uh, bonding proposal and, and it's certainly an aggressive number uh, for a, an odd uh, or non-bonding year. But I think he sees uh, a lot of the the uh, things that I see around the state, such as the infrastructure, and uh, of course, he ha besides that, he has his transportation package, which is really capital too. And so I, I you know, I think it's um, uh, he's not changing uh, his plan uh, in terms of that number, and so I, you know, I, I understand it. Will you follow that number? Well, I don't uh, know if I'll follow that number because I, I think that uh, um, we have to work with, you know, in a, uh, I think maybe a smaller targeted area. And, you know, next year will be our, our larger bonding package. To that point, you have been asked by Senator Bach to put something together in the event that the House decides to come on board with a bonding package. You have your first hearing later this week, is my understanding. So what can you tell us about the kind of bill you would like to put together? Will it focus on asset preservation, which tends to be your, your personal preference? Uh, yes, <clears throat> I think the, the, uh, this year will be heavily, heavy uh, in asset preservation. And it, it, uh, the public probably doesn't understand asset preservation, but it includes a lot of things that keep the state of Minnesota uh, functioning. And it's a lot of fixing up, a lot of repairing things, but also we have programs like uh, the uh, Public Facilities Authority, which takes care of or helps uh, communities, local communities across the state with their wastewater and clean water programs. And we have programs like housing programs that uh, try to uh, help uh, uh, find homes and build homes for, for people who need them. And many of these things are very important for making our communities uh, operate. So um, apart from the transportation side, I'd say the infrastructure needs um, keeping the, the uh, state functioning in an in a efficient way. Finally, Senator, do you take it upon yourself as the chair of the Capital Investment Committee to try to bring the House on board with getting a bill passed this year? And if so, do you think you'll have any success? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, well, I think it's, it's important as a chair to try to bring out the need, the needs that, that, can, that are existing. And then, and then we have to choose as to which ones we can address and then also work with the, the, both legislative bodies to try to encourage them to uh, decide on something that would you know, move our state forward. So what does your instinct say? Will there be a bonding bill, bill, bonding bill this year? Well, I think there will be a bonding bill, and I think it will likely be in that area of fixing and repairing and keeping things functioning. Uh, and I'm saying that because I think the public really wants the state of Minnesota to continue to operate. Certainly we want our potholes patched. And, uh, and so I think that by doing that, we'll, we'll certainly uh, address the need. Finally, will the governor, in your opinion, be content with a smaller number? Well, 
Uh, he probably won't be as content as he would be as if he had his number, but, you know, we all have to negotiate and work together. I would describe it as legislative hot dish. He's just virtually taken every idea, every bill that's been kind of presented to the legislature in different forms uh, over the years uh, and have, in many cases, not made the cut, if you will, and uh, put them in this bill and, uh, and put it out for us. Uh, I'm a little critical because a lot of this, uh, some of it we know, a lot of it we don't know. Uh, we haven't done our tours. I think uh, we, we need to do some due diligence on this. It's simply not, you know, let's adopt a bill. It, we're better than that, and we ought to be. Uh, uh, so I don't know if we're going to do a bonding bill this year. My, my preference would be that it would be a, a much smaller bill uh, related to things which really have more urgency and things which, frankly, we know about. That seems to be Senator Stump's thought as well, perhaps a smaller bill, and he intends to begin working on it, really focusing on asset preservation. So would you like to see a bill this year? The House still doesn't have an appetite for it. Well, I think I think it's not unreasonable to do something. I mean, we, we have some flood control issues that we know about. We, we've got some facility issues that we know about. Uh, uh, we, we, I think it's fair to think we wouldn't be inappropriate to look at some of that, but uh, uh, I don't think certainly this big bill has got much of, of, a, of an appetite on our side. I don't know about the DFL side. So, Senator, as the lead Republican, would you consider it part of your responsibility to bring the House on board with the idea of passing some kind of a bonding bill? How do you bring them to the table? Well, I think, you know, there's, there's some, we, we just simply need to have a conversation. I'm not going to purport to be a big proponent either, but there's some elements of the capital, for instance, that are left over that we need to do. Uh, and I'm talking about a bill maybe 100 to 200 million, if that. Uh, there are those kind of things that uh, we need to do, but we don't certainly need to do a big $850 million bill. Do you think you can bring the House on board? Uh, we'll talk about it. I, I don't know. Uh, if not, we'll have to do some of this capital res reno renovation with, with cash, which is possible as well, given the surplus. Thank you.